Hi guys, and welcome to Adventure Capitalists. And my, have I gotten rich. Um, so let me tell you a bit about this game. Welcome eager young investors to Venture Capitalists, arguably the world's greatest capitalist simulator. So it's, um, well, how about this? Hey there, fancy pants. Have you ever found yourself queuing up for your favorite inactive adventure only to wish for something to fill the empty space while you're waiting? Well, we got a deal for you. Introducing Adventure Capitalist, the game you play while playing other better games. Venture Capitalist is the world's greatest capitalist simulator, starting with a humble lemonade stand and squeezing your way to total facial domination. Earn ridiculous sums of cash. Obviously, I've earned 2.757 trillion dollars. Holy shit. But basically, it's like a point and click adventure game. Um, a point and click game that plays by itself when you're not there. Not a point and click, just a clicking game. What am I saying? But this is, um, Seems Alphabet Soup. Welcome back. Now it's been a while. And this is the game. Upgrades. Let's go. I think so. Now I got one of everything. And then you can close it and it plays by itself as well. And that's that's the game. <laughs> wow. This is the shortest video yet. Um you can buy all these upgrades to each thing. You connect to things to get stuff. Managers to run your stuff better, I think. because of my OCD. Speed of car wash times two. So, shall we go to the next game? This is a cute little game. It's free to play, obviously, on Steam. Guys, welcome to AI War. I'm gonna mute the background noise real quick because it's pretty loud. The most devious and acclaimed artificial intelligence in strategy gaming returns with the host of Mutual Enemies. AI War is a grand strategy RTS hybrid against an overwhelming inhuman enemy who has conquered the galaxy. And there's flying freaking turtles in this game. Can you believe that? Greatness. I just fucking just turn down this volume real quick. It's really loud. Really loud. There we go. Um, and then let's get into it. Let's see what it's all about. Um, hello there. This is an in-game Wicca how to play on the main menu and in-game escape menu, as well as playable tutorials on the right hand side of the menu. Menu. If you're new to this game, you'll likely have a much better time if you do the tutorials or check out the in-game Wicca basics. Would you like to view the tutorial list? We'll only ask you once, but you can visit them anytime. Basics. Let's go. Welcome to the first tutorial of AI War 2. This one is about moving the camera plus selecting the order units. Currently, we are looking at the starting planet. Let's have a look around. First, by moving the camera around. First, move the mouse cursor to the edge of your screen. This will move the camera in that direction. 
That can be pretty annoying for some people though, so you can turn it off if you want. Let's try something more conventional. Use WASDA. Use to move your camera. Um, now try zooming in and out, which is the mouse wheel. Lastly, you can hold Q on your keyboard or your fourth mouse button. You have the four plus mouse button to move and tilt your camera. You may have noticed that it appears to be some form of ship. That is the assault frigate. To select it, click the left click on it directly or hold the left click nearby and drag to create a selection box. Release to select everything inside. When you have selected the frigate, it's time to make a move. Move the mouse anywhere on the planet you would like and right click. The frigate will go there. Important note, the playable areas of the planet is called the gravity well and it's marked by the floating asteroid belt. Units can never move beyond that. Engineer of oh, this one. Now we'll want some targets for our frigate. There is new target drones we've set up beforehand on this planet. To the top of the gravity well, sorry, you may need to zoom out more to see them. To tell your frigate to attack one, simply right click it on it and destroy the drones. What drums? But those were it, but they're just engineers. Are these them? There we go. I just wasn't zoomed out enough. Asteroids protect me! These drones are sturdy, men. Let's see. This game is $20, 1999 um, US dollars on Steam. Very positive reviews. You can eventually have a freaking turtle that flies around with like a town on its, a city on its back, which is freaking awesome. So if you're into these like kind of games, I prefer Solaris, but I'm evil, so there's that. It's a cute little game. I like it. I want the turtle now, though. Maybe I'll go give it some more, some more shots. I'm probably gonna do three and one on this video because these are kind of short. Welcome to the second tutorial of AI War 2. This one is about using the galaxy map, sending our view to a different planet, and moving our units between them. Currently, we're looking at our starting planet. We want to look at the galaxy map, which we can get to through two different ways. We can either press tab button, which sounds great to me, or click on the planet name in the very top corner. Um, no, I, I want to push the tab button. Okay. 
this is the galaxy. There's not much to see right now, but you can move in the screen just uh, like viewing the planets. The currently selected planet is highlighted in white circle, um, Midlander. To see the names of the planets, hold the control key. If you wish to have this on permanently, it is an option in the settings. I would like it on permanently, that'd be nice. We want to take the view of Midland. We want to take our view out to Midlanders. To do so, click and on it to select it. Then press tab or click at the very top corner. Bleed. Now we are looking at the AI control planet. We're going to try and attack this, but first we need to go back to Murdoch and select our frigates. You might have noticed some of the things on the side when looking around the planet. These are wormholes. Every planet is connected via a chain of these. The unit using them to get around the galaxy. They are also another way to change what planet we view. To use this to go back to Murdoch, hold control and click the wormhole leading there. Hold control and click the... Now select uh, one of the frigates. We're going to send it through the wormhole. There are two methods we can do by this view, do from this view, and one on the galaxy map. With the frigate, we'll do the first. Just like how we sent our view through the control, uh, through with control and click, we can send a unit through by holding control and right clicking on the wormhole. Use this to send a frigate through to Midlander, then send your view through and wait. There are some enemies here, so we'll probably want our other frigates to come as well. Now we can try the other method. Using the frigates we left behind, first send your view back to the planet we came from, select all three frigates in the left here then go back to the galaxy map remember you can use the tab button and the current planet name click on the uh on the current planet name in the very top left hand corner and swap from planet to planet view and vice versa what? i i don't like this way though the other way was so much easier. I don't get this way. Okay, first send your view back to the planet we came from. Select all three frigates left there. Then go back to the galaxy map. Remember, you can use tab button or click the current planet name in the very top left-hand corner to swap from planet galaxy map view, vice versa. Okay, there we go. You might have noticed in the bottom right-hand corner that we still have our frigate selected. We want to send them to Midlander, the AI control planet we sent the first frigate to. All we have to do here is simply right-click on Midlander Okay, so it was just glitching out a little bit. Just a little bit, not bad. Tutorial complete. So that's two of the control tutorials. I think I'm done with this game for now. It's cute, I like it. I would just play and um, it was great talking to you. Um, I have my Twitch up. I'm gonna try to stream. I'm gonna set up a schedule on Twitch. Um, it is going to be at uh, Gingerbread Wars at uh, Twitch TV slash Gingerbread Wars. Bye guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. See ya.
So about a venture capitalist, I get it because it's free and it's a cute little thing to waste time. I mean, we all have plenty of time for the most part during this um, epidemic. And AI yeah, War, I probably wouldn't buy it. It's 19 bucks. I think I got it in a humble bundle. Um, but if you really like the game, it's well put together and it's really cute. And if it's that's your type of game, go ahead. Go for it. Knock yourself out. I just, the graphics are kind of minimal for me when I could play like Stellaris, which you'll see later on in the series when we get to S's. Let's be honest, it's going to be forever from now. Just go look it up. All right. Bye, people. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a great day. This is editing Ginger. Sorry. <laughs> Thought I put it in. But yeah, I would give um, a War a 3 out of 5 and um, a Venture Capitalist 3 out of 5. You know, it's a cute little games. It's a free game. You can't knock it very much. All right.